guys welcome back to my channel my name is Olua Kemi from Lagos Nigeria if today is your first time visiting my youtube channel welcome to Kemper's designs guys I'll be making this luxury cute beautiful bag <laughs> you guys can see how lovely it is so I'll be showing step by step tutorial for this bag please guys watch to the end for better understanding Material used for um, this job are I'll be making use of um, leather, I'll be making use of African print, I'll be making use of this bag lock, I'll be making use of D ring, I'll be making use of this is bottom stored, and um, this is D ring. I'll be making use of it as well, guys. I'll be making use of um, adjuster and bag hook. So guys, um, the next thing I'm going to be doing right now is to actually show you the measurements. <laughs> so I would like to show you guys the measurements and um, you know the pattern of the bag. So the width, the width of the bag is 9.5. That's 9 and a half inches. While um, the first body is 6.5. Um, the bottom is 4 inches and the other part of the body is 6.5. I mean, it's this is a mini luxury bag. So I'm still going to be making use of foam. I'm still going to be making use of velvet. You know, you guys just keep watching. You will understand everything. Please watch till the end for better understanding. If you really want to know this, you know, this beautiful bag how to make it please kindly wash it to the hand now this is the flap aspect um the width is 9.5 it has to be the same thing as you know the former measurements for the width and um, the length is six inches the length of the flap is six inches guys what we're gonna be doing right now is to take the measurement of you know we have to take out we have to bring out a shape which is 1.5 and also 2 inches 1.5 for the length and for the width it is 2 inches so I'm just gonna you know shape that out I don't want it to be you know sharp at the edge there so I'm just gonna give it a little bit curve and bring it out guys this is my first time making this bag oh my gosh you guys I'm telling you guys the truth this is my first time making this beautiful bag like I've never done it before I just felt like oh let me do something nice let me do something unique just thinking of what can I do and all that so and this is it so guys <laughs> please I would advise everyone out there you know try to improve your skill try to if you can do it I mean if you know that um, things that you cannot do try to push yourself hard to do them so guys um please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and also guys don't forget to like comment and share my videos don't forget to click on the notification button time to um glue um the foam to the leather bird guys don't put the foam at the bottom just only the first body and the second body reason is because you have to put foam because of your um, fabric the fabric is not um, thick so you want it to you want to carry your bag and you want it to look you know a little bit um, foamy that is why you should use foam so guys the bottom aspect carries the leather so you actually don't need a foam for leather so after you might have taken how the measurements um you know which is four for the length and also for the width you have 9.5 after doing that you have to leave half inch half inch um round you're going to use that i mean you're going to stitch and you're also going to fold those are those, uh, that is what the half inch is meant for guys now we need to start with the first stitch so um, um, I'm just going to stitch the fabric and the leather both sides 
guys you guys can see it so now the next thing i'm just going to do is to take my machine then stitch um i need to press <laughs> i don't know what it's called but i, I need to just stitch then after that i'm just going to take my um leather board you know apply gum and then you know fold everything So guys time for us to um you know to fold the leather on the leather board so um basically i'm just gonna apply um a little bit gum just apply gum to it and then i'm just gonna fold you know my leather on the leather board guys i'm true with folding the bird um flap so guys the next thing i'm just gonna be doing right now is to um put the bottom store guys i've done a perfect step-by-step -step video on this particular handle so guys all you have to do is to go to my description go to the description of this video and then click on the link click on the link and it and you'll be able to watch the full video guys it is a step-by-step -step video i made it for you guys so that you can watch and learn from it so basically guys i'm done with it undo so the next thing i'm just gonna be doing right now is i'm just gonna you know sew my flap to the main body of the um bag The next thing to do is to actually make the um, corset and also the D-ring um, leather. So guys, basically what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to fold that. I used um, a leather board called Chi Board. I use it inside of um, the leather. So I wrapped it with um, animal skin leather. This is a synthetic leather, it is not a pure leather. So guys, um, the next thing is to actually make the um, corset. And also guys, we'll make use of leather bird, which is Chemtex. I'm making use of Chemtex later bird so I'm just gonna apply gum which I'm doing right now wait for it to get dry a little bit and just um, put the leather bird and then I'm just gonna apply a little bit gum again and then you know just glue them together glue the edges to the leather bird
so guys um the next thing i'm gonna be doing is to uh, uh, is to gum um the velvet that's um serve as a lining to um the bag so i'm not gonna be making use of any leather board in for the uh, inner part i'm just gonna be making use of leather board for only the outer parts as you guys can see it right now so guys um the measurements for um the animal skin for the side corset so the measurements i've already drawn a pattern for it so the measurement is um 16.7 So the measurement for uh, the weight is 1.5, the, um, the other side half inch and the other side half inch. So by the time you calculate 1.5 plus 1 inch, it's going to be giving you like um, 2.5. So guys, um, the next thing I'm just going to be doing right now is those places that I actually lined which is the half inch at the right half inch at the other part i'm just gonna be folding that i'll be folding it Guys, so the next thing I'm just I'll be doing right now is to start stitching. I need to start stitching, start joining um, the corset. I need to start, you know, joining them together. So I'm gonna be using my flat bed machine to actually, uh, you know, stitch them together. guys i'm i'm done stitching the corset so i'm just you know kind of using my clip to um you know just to look at just to know or just to just for you guys to see the shape of the bag <laughs> So guys, um, the next thing I'm going to be doing right now is to um, do the inner part, which I told you guys I'm not going to be making use of any leather board. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of gum and then for the tip of, you know, the material I'm using, the name is called velvet. This is a velvet um, material. So I'm just going to apply gum to the leather board, which I've done right now. Then I'm just going to spread my velvet i'm just gonna spread it on top
guys um we are through with everything you know so the next thing i'm just gonna be doing right now is to fix um the lock So I'm true with the lock. The next thing is just to glue um, the corset, glue it to the main body. I've already added um, a little bit gum to it, so I'm just gonna glue them together. Then after that, then I'm just gonna use my cylinder hams machine to, you know, to to stitch the rest. So basically, this is the um, final stage. The final stage is the stitching of the corset. You know guys so after stitching the corsets then i'm just gonna fix the other part of the lock to the bag but trust me you can do it you can fix your lock to your bag before you know putting your corset and you can also do that you know after you might have finished you know fixing your corset depending on how you want to do your bag guys i hope you guys are you you know enjoying this tutorial and i hope you guys are able to pick one or two things from this tutorial so guys this tutorial has already come to an end <laughs> so this is the end of today's tutorial i hope you guys are able to um learn one or two things from it and i hope you guys will be able to um i hope you guys are able to learn how to make use of um, cylinder hams by i mean with this video Please, if you have any questions, you can always, you know, drop your questions under the comment section and I will gladly answer your questions. So guys, please don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to, um, you know, click on the notification button. Don't forget to like, comment and also share my videos. And also guys. Thank you so much for 6,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh. I mean, that is huge. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. And I, I'm, so, I'm so thankful for your support. And I still need more of your support. Please, guys, continue supporting me. Don't forget Canvas. Thank you. And God bless you. <laughs>